Hello, I'm Heather with the Keys Group Real Estate Team and today I'm touring models in the Red Point Village and I'm at Acadia Ridge which is a Toll Brothers community. This is a single story and two story community and you can see here we have some dirt across the street and then I'm here at the models. The first model that I'm going to take a look at is their Alba Elite and the Alba Elite, the square footage is going to be 2002 square feet that's for just the alba but the elite is a pop-up with the second story up there you can see and that makes it 28 24 square feet with five bedrooms three full baths a half bath and a two-car garage so when you purchase a home in here you can get either the just the regular floor plan or you can get it with the pop-up, which is designated by the elite name. So Alba would be just a single story floor plan. Alba Elite would be the single story with a pop-up. So it'd be a two story home. This is beautiful. Typical Toll Brothers, you can see. So let's go over here and then we'll look at that front bedroom last. So this one they made into a den with the glass doors. So the glass doors would not be there when you purchase this home. Uh, you can put that in after close of escrow. But it is a really nice somewhat privacy uh, setting there. This is the great room. Again, this is another great room floor plan here the volume ceilings. The ceilings are 11 feet over here. And then of course, here it's probably 22 feet high for those ceilings. So beautiful job on this. That is a gas fireplace, which you're kind of seeing mixed right now. A lot of times you're seeing those electric fireplaces, but here they have a gas fireplace. And I can feel the heat on that one. So the stack sliders over here, very nice. This is what I love about Toll Brothers Homes is that they have that nice open feeling when you walk in. So here's the kitchen, of course, with the built-in fridge, finishing that cabinetry around the fridge. And then you have the double ovens right here and then a microwave. So not everybody cares for the microwave being down here. However, the alternative would be right there, which that wouldn't be as popular right now, or putting it in another location or taking out an oven and putting it in there. So a lot of options. Here's your pantry. And they did put in this uh, pantry system, which would be extra, or you can put it in after close of escrow. So they did a nice ceramic tile floor, square, and just a straight lay on that. So there's no, um, no design or anything. This is a quartz countertop. It does have some veining in it. This is what they choose for models is a little bit upgraded. You have a six burner stove here. Very nice cabinets. Here's where your dining area would be. This is a, considered an eat-in kitchen. There's a gathering space here. You have the pendant lighting, definitely feeling the 11 foot ceilings in this home. Really nice touch. And here we have the primary suite, which is downstairs. And that's because these could be um, built as a one story. So all the models have a primary suite downstairs in this community. So if that's what you're looking for, or you want a single story, then you can consider this community. And of course, if you're interested in this community, just reach out to, to us. My number is down below and you can call us and we can coordinate a showing. Super shower, beautiful, just beautiful. I'm gonna have to walk right through it. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, somebody's been using it, water. All right, we have another closet system here. Again, this would be extra. 
but you can definitely fit a lot of stuff in here. I know it might look small. However, when you put in something like this, it definitely opens up all the different spaces that you can put more stuff in. So you have a separate toilet closet. Here we go with the double sinks. They did a floating, floating um, sinks here with that light underneath. Nice touch. The finish on this is kind of like a, it's more of a matte finish on it. And it's like a marble, a cultured marble almost. And then you have a nice little linen closet here. Well, this is the pantry. Behind the pantry is the garage. So you have garage. Bring groceries in right to the counter here. So let's take a look at, oh, let's look at this laundry room here. So we have the laundry room downstairs, because again, single story, even though this is a two story. And you have a sink in here with extra cabinets. All those uh, would be extra. Not sure if I would put in the backsplash in a laundry room, but there it is. That's what it would look like. And then you have a powder room right here. So let's go to this bedroom over here. This bedroom here, this is an ensuite bedroom. So there's the shower and the sink. Again, another floating, floating um, bathroom sink there. Now the base price on these homes for, for the single story version is going to start at $791. The two story, which is what we're in right now, is going to start at $931. And that's for a Spanish style exterior and design. So they have different designs, different, um, different elevations. Let's take a look upstairs here. I like the railing, very modern. This house has a modern feel to it. Strip views from here. Again, when you're in Summerlin, you're going to get those beautiful views. Nice loft, very spacious loft. And then, of course, a covered patio out here. Let's take a look outside for a moment because I want to show you the park here. So every community in Summerlin requires a pocket park. And a pocket park is a park in the community, just some green space here, just like this. And just kind of make some open space there. Not all of them have those play areas and they're not all this large. This one's really right outside the community. The other nice thing about this community is that they did include a pool. So there is a community pool here. And it's just for the residences of um, the residents of Acadia Ridge. Here. There are some of these homes available for the two story. You can expect to pay over a million for this property if you purchase uh, from dirt and you put in the upgrades and everything, it's going to definitely be over a million. This is a secondary bedroom. Really appreciate those windows, dual pane windows. You have a bathroom here with double sinks. There you go. They opted not to get the floating sinks here. Here we go. Bedroom four, actually. This is bedroom four. And you can see lots of windows again, the whole community here. Nice sunset views from this particular neighborhood. 
That's red rock over there. And then a walk-in closet, a nice size walk-in closet, actually. Very nice size. So if you wanted to do some lights like this, this is um, this would be an upgrade right here. These pendant lights, they would do the pre-wire for you and then you can put in your own lights. And what I recommend is getting the recessed lights like here. If you've watched any of my other videos, I'm sure you've heard me mention that. But uh, the recessed lights, and then I would probably put a pre-wire in there in the middle just for a ceiling fan or some other fixture. But I think because they chose the drop-down pendant lighting pre-wire that they didn't want to overdo it with that center, that center um, pre-wire. So that is the upstairs, and you've seen the downstairs. What do you think of this floor plan? What do you think of the home? Would you want to be in a home where if there was a downstairs and your kids were upstairs? Some people like that, some people don't. Or if it's a second home, it makes for a nice area for guests too. And you can be downstairs and your guests can take over the upstairs. So please comment what you think of this floor plan, what you think of the price, and if you have any questions on any of the communities or looking for a home in Summerlin, by all means, just reach out to us via the phone or the link below. And please like this video. And if you'd like to see more home tours, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.